Hi guys, it's Kelly here and I am back again with another video. Today's video, we are using some Spellbinders items. I am using the November Small Die um, Club Kit for this month. I'm also using the Noel Mini Slimline Dies and Yana's, is it Stacked Script Sentiments? I think that's what it's called. Um, anywho, happy Thanksgiving because uh, that's when I will be posting this. Um, so I know that right now uh, the 3D embossing folders are super hot. Um, and while I don't, I think that they are a great investment that you can keep using multiple different ways. Um, I understand that they're not in everybody's budget. However, Spellbinders is having amazing sales right now. So if you are interested in picking some up, now is for sure the time. Um, and also uh, Glimmer Hot Foil. I know that some people are like on, like questioning whether or not they were interested in investing in it and they have their machine on sale for $100, which I understand is still quite the investment, but just FYI, I will link that below. So this is another way you can get a very similar look with things that you already own. So as you can see, we are doing some ink blending. I like to do the ink blending because I like the color variation. So I like it to be lighter in the center and then darker on the edges. So I'm working from Peacock Feathers to Mermaid Lagoon to Uncharted Mariner to Black Soot. However, you can do this with just plain cardstock. Like this technique will work with just two A2 size sheets of the same card stock. You know what? You don't even need two A2 size. You need one that's a card front and one you can die cut your pieces out of that look the same um, in order to create that kind of 3D embossing effect. Um, but I just like the color variation. Like I just think it's more interesting. Uh, and I do all of my ink blending twice. So I start with my lightest color, work out to my darkest, darkest back into my lightest. Same way I treat actually my Copic coloring. I just feel like it gives me a better blend because it puts down uh, so much more ink. And when you're doing ink blending, no matter what medium you're using, whether you're using the foam ink blenders like I am or you're using a brush, you want to make sure that you're starting off of your page and bringing your ink onto your paper from your craft surface. That's why you see all that extra ink around my um, card. It's because I'm starting off and then bringing it onto the paper. This is going to give me a much better blend. Um, once I start to get out to like where I'm just filling it in, I, I'm a little less worried. Um, so I just kind of pick a corner to come in from. And then I have these two panels. I did two of each of these because like I said, you need two, one as a background and one to die cut out of. And then I'm also going to do a blue version. Nobody is surprised by this. I love blue. This one is sped up quite a bit more <laughs> though. So we weren't like wasting all of our time. Um, not that it's wasteful. I shouldn't say that because we are still learning things about ink blending, but I didn't think that we needed to see it um, in real time two times, but I did want you to see the background come together. And again, I am doing two of these the same way. Lightest to darkest, darkest back into lightest. Um, I also did a video a while ago where I showed you how you could do the same kind of dramatic ink blending blending on solid colored cardstock. So if you have a color of cardstock that you super love, um, you could do the same thing and just add kind of some drama around the edges with ink blending and still make that work uh, for the same type of look. But anyway, so it's Thanksgiving. I don't know what you guys are doing. We are, we are doing minimal traveling. We're really only... Um, we're going to Eric's family's during the day, and then we were going to my family's at night. Um, and our schedule is always crazy because we have to split Peanut three ways. So because um, I am, well, I'm married, but I was divorced. Um, so I share custody with um, his dad. And so he gets him during the day on Thanksgiving and I get him in the evening. But um, that means... I also have to split him, Eric's parents, my parents, and then his dad's side of the family. So it can get a little challenging. Let's go back to the card. So here, this is just to show you that you can add other things to this. You don't have to leave it 
plain. Um, so for this one, I'm going to do a little spattering with some gold perfect pearls. Um, just because they're pretty and shiny and fun. Uh, so I went back and forth. I think the gold would have looked pretty with the blue or the teal, and I wasn't really sure which one to commit to, and I ended up picking the teal version. Um, but like I said before, whatever you're doing to one, you want to do to the other. They need to be matching. They don't necessarily need to be twins, but they do need to be sisters. Like, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. We're not trying to, you know, match them up, but I mean, they have to be pretty similar. Uh, and here you can just see that little sparkle and shine. Super pretty. So once these are dry, then I'm going to go in and do my die cutting. This is the small die. They do have detail dies in the kit, like for all of the flowers and stuff, so you can piece this together. Uh, but I didn't use them. Um, I just cut out the large piece for this effect. And so here you can see I cut it out once on the bottom and then cut it out a second time on top. And this way I can layer those pieces on top of the other background that we made. And it's going to give us the look of that 3D embossing. And here it's not even glued down. I'm just briefly going to show you. Like look at how cool that is. Everything blends in together and it looks like it is embossed. It has the same feel. It's raised. It's textured. Um, without having to actually invest in a folder. So for this one, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do it more of just a central design, kind of see how, like how some of the 3D embossing folders you see are not just a background, but they have maybe like a beautiful floral image or, um, you know, something that is just like, I, I know I have one that's like a, a butterfly on a leaf. So that was the intention with this one is to just show you that, you know, you don't have to do a full background. You can do more of a um, centralized focal point and it will still work. Um, so yeah, really like this technique. I'm, you guys know I'm a big fan of like using the supplies that you have. While I was sitting here looking at this, I realized that I had an unintended bonus card. So of the piece that I cut out, I backed it with a piece of navy, and then I cut out a gold flower that I could just kind of fit back in there like a puzzle piece, and ended up with a third card. Now, if this was a less intricate design, I would have saved those middle pieces and puzzled them back in together. Um, but it was just too many pieces to do that with. So I just picked the navy and I was fine with how it looked. Here, I am going to um, do a little bit of a different technique. I actually saw Jennifer McGuire do something similar in a video, like within the last month, um, where she kind of used a soft brush and smoothed in her perfect pearls. I'm just using a foam piece to kind of like pounce it into the ink. And it gives this nice little like dusting shimmer um, right over the piece. You can see it there in the light. And it's just enough that it still blends in with the background, but it has like this cute little shimmery shine, which I liked. And it didn't cover up any of the blue, which I also appreciate <laughs> because I love it so much. Um, so here I'm cutting out the piece that's going to hold my sentiment. And then I have cardstock that matches the colors I chose. But if you don't, um, you can use the Distress Inks, the same ones that you blended with. So I put down the Mermaid Lagoon first, and then I put the Peacock Feathers over it, um, just because it wasn't, the Mermaid Lagoon wasn't green enough for the card that I had going on. And then you can cut your sentiment right out of that. I'm going to cut the shadow out of the gold, because I have the gold Perfect Pearls in the background. Um, so I'm just going to hook them up, because I think that they'll look nice together. And then I have to be honest with you, this particular sentiment set that I used um, is by Spellbinders, but they actually don't have it anymore. I was pretty surprised, honestly, because I feel like I didn't buy it that long ago. But time's funny, so maybe I did. I'm not sure. Um, but you can just use any sentiments that you have. I chose to go with um, a thanks theme since it is Thanksgiving today. Um, well, it's tomorrow because I'm doing this the night before. Because <laughs> on Thanksgiving, I won't be doing anything but driving around and seeing family. Um, but so anyway, I'm doing them in gold and white. Um, so yeah, so we have to split our, our time three different ways in order. Like, and so sometimes he doesn't get to see everybody. And that makes me feel so terrible that he doesn't get to see everyone. But like, there's only so many hours in the day. And because of what our, like what we agreed to, um, when we got divorced, which I mean, it isn't, 
I didn't know that I was going to meet Eric. I was going to get remarried. I was going to have a whole nother baby. Like I didn't know any of that at the time. So we just split it the way that we split it when we were married, um, that we would go to his family's house during the day and we would go to my house and my parents' house in the evening. So that's just what we stuck with. And so now like Eric's side of the family kind of gets, um, no time at all with him on like Thanksgiving and Easter because I don't get him until the evening, which makes me feel terrible, but like we're doing the best we can. So then tomorrow the game plan is to, after, um, Caitlin takes her nap, cause we cannot go without a nap y'all. Like we cannot go without a nap. Um, after she takes her nap, then we're going to head out to his parents' house, hang out there for a couple of hours, come home, snag up Peanut, and then go to my parents' um, for a couple of hours, and then still hopefully make it in time to get her in bed <laughs> at her regular time so that we don't have a cranky baby on our hands. Uh, pray for us. <laughs> I saw a... Um, a uh, meme. It was so funny and it was so accurate. I'm going to pull it up right here on my phone so that I can read it to you because I laughed so hard. And if you have small children or you have had small children, you will also laugh. It says, let's all take a moment of silence for toddler parents as we prepare for a day of chasing our overstimulated children around an unbaby proofed house after they've skipped their nap and are powered only by dinner rolls and spite. Stay blessed. I laughed so <laughs> hard because ain't that the truth like and you can't expect people to like baby proof their homes you know just because you have a little one that's on the go so you just spend your whole day chasing them around everywhere to make sure that they don't get into anything that will hurt them uh it's wild it's parenting is a wild ride so back to the cards um I just glued them down flat, like, so you can totally see it gives this appearance as if I've embossed it, but I have not. Um, and I love it because you can do it with any die that you own. Like, it's so good. It's such a good little thing to try. Um, so here with my, um, yeah, and this little Noel, Noel mini slimline, I'm going to have to come back to this because I think it's a really good, I like the shape of it quite a bit, but I just use the center piece for this. That's the white portion. Um, and I'm just going to put this right down in the center. I thought that these fit together nicely enough that I didn't really need to cover up like where they join. Um, but I had already had a game plan of putting this in the center of my card. So I just went with my original game plan. So I'm going to glue that down flat. I am going to stack this thanks onto its shadow. Um, these I have used before uh, with a different card. Really like them. I think that they're super cute, but they are thin. Um, so it's a really good thing there's a shadow because you guys know I don't like the little finicky bits. <laughs> I, am a, I struggle with the dye finicky bits. Um, so I'm just going to use my tweezers to glue this teal down to this gold, which I totally love. I think this would also look stunning. Um, and I don't even like purple, but like in purple with the gold, I think that would look beautiful. Um, or a plum color. So many options. Um, so here, just making sure that I'm happy with how that's going to look before I glue it down. Going to add my sentiment. And because I popped up the um, little decorative die cut, I'm just going to glue my sentiments down flat. I don't feel like I need to add anything extra to them um, because it's already popped. Uh, so yeah, just going to glue those down flat. And then I am also going to use some embellishments. These are also from Spellbinders. And when I was looking in my drawer for what I might have, I was honestly looking for gold, but then I came across this one that's called Fashion Spruce. And it was like the perfect green for what I had going on here. Um, these, just so you're aware, are also on sale and they're less than $3 and you get like a hundred and 20 pearls um and the other ones are gems like they're gem stickers um and i used the sapphire for the blue cards so that's this one it's finished and then i'm going to put the blue one together the bonus card um that i didn't even know i was going to make but i should like i guess i should have had the foresight to see that that when i cut the one the die cut out of the middle that i was going to have this whole background left over um but it does not look like 3D embossing, just so we're clear. The bonus card <laughs> does not look that way and is not meant to, but also it was too pretty for me to throw away. 
you know, and that just happens sometimes when you're a card maker. Um, so here I have glued that down in the center. You can see that little bit of shimmer. Really like the way that one looked. I am using the same Thanks die. Um, and then that same Grateful for You. And like I said, the the dies are in stock um, and on sale. But the the stamping portion is the part that they don't sell anymore this particular set they do have other sentiment sets but not this one and i try very hard not to use anything that you guys cannot get if you want it um but that's just not how this one worked out so here i've put down that thanks in the middle and then um added that grateful for you and that one i did pop up and um, then I'm going to use the sapphire gems to just kind of accent uh, the center of the flowers. And then they have like these little berries um, in the die. So I put a couple of gems on there as well. Thought that it was super cute. Um, and also I want to know somebody uh, in the previous video, which let me mention that giveaway. There is a giveaway. I'll link the video below um, for a $25 gift card to Honeybee. And that closes tonight at midnight Eastern Standard Time. Um, so be paying attention to that because I'm going to announce the winner and then I want to be able to email you right away so you can hit up one of these sales while well, you can still get a good deal. Um, so this bonus card uh, is not meant to look like 3D embossing, but it is still very pretty and so I couldn't let it go to waste. So I just heat embossed this thank you and then I'm going to put that in the center. Now you can see here I adhered it a little high up. Don't worry, I'm going to fix it because it will in fact bother me, <laughs> even though it shouldn't. Um, but I'm going to do the same thing with those little sapphire gems, the same exact way I did the first one. And so here you have these two that do the faux 3D embossing and then our bonus guy on the end. And then that is all three cards as soon as I fix the sentiment here. I wouldn't recommend pulling off your foam tape unless you're sure you're sure you can do it cleanly. Uh, I wasn't. I risked it anyway. I'm just living on the edge of life. Um, and then that's it. That's all three cards. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope that you are having a wonderful Thanksgiving and please know that I uh, am grateful for you and I view you guys as one of um, my very best blessings. So I will catch you on the next video. Bye.